Welcome to today's Optics Trade Debates. My name is Theodore. My name is Tadej. Hello. Today we are going to talk a little bit about uh, central focusing and focusing separated for each eye on the binoculars. Today we went through all our emails uh, on this uh, topic which we received from our customers. So today, which questions did you find in our emails? What were the most common questions from the from the customers which were sending them to us? The most common question was which type is the most common? <laughs> <laughs> well, funny. Uh, a really simple answer, the center focusing. There are only a few, uh, few binoculars with focusing which is separate for each eye. So the binoculars which you focus here and doesn't have any, they lack the center of focusing knob like on these binoculars. So if I do it like this. So if you already see here, three out of four have center of focusing. So the, the, the answer is that uh, <laughs> quite obvious. <laughs> quite obvious that the center of focusing is more common. Okay, um, what about the advantages? What are the most the most common advantages again of central fo focusing? Well, center focusing is, first of all, ergonomically the easiest. You always, uh, when you take the binoculars, a pair of binoculars into your hands, everybody used to the idea that you focus with this button and you see immediately uh, the objects which are in focus and those which are don't. So ergonomically, this is the, the good ergonomics is the biggest uh, advantage of the center focusing and that that it's commonly accepted that this is the type of uh, focusing that people are used to. Uh, the second advantage is that you can focus really close. With this type of binoculars, with uh, center focusing, there are binoculars, the best among them, which can even focus closer than one meter. Yeah. So you can use them for observing uh, butterflies and all other small animals, creatures, even on really, really short distances. This is something that you're not able to do with a, with a focusing uh, separated for each eye. Um, these are, I would say, the two main advantages. Also, some people claim, but it's really hard to, to, to say this is 100% correct, that you can achieve a better <coughs> resolution with binoculars with center focusing. This is something which is debatable, but definitely the close focus and the ergonomics is on the side of the on the center of focusing uh, binoculars. What about the focusing, the advantages of focusing separated for each eye? What about this one? Well, the main advantage is the, the, the basic concept that you focus only once. On a nice uh, daytime bright day, uh, you just look through the binoculars, you focus one eye, you focus the other eye until both of two images are completely in focus and then you just never touch it again. Then the eyes, they do the focusing for you through the binoculars. So then you look at, I would say, the objects on, on 100 meters or 200 meters or 50 meters and always the, the image is sharp and in focus. This is the big advantage because you just do this once and then you don't need to carry, uh, don't need to worry about the focusing anymore. Uh, the second advantage is when you come into low light situations, uh, a lot of times it happened that there is such a small amount of light that with center focusing you are never quite sure if the objects to which you are looking are in focus or not. So uh, with uh, focusing separated for each eye you know that they are in focus because you already said this on a, uh, at the time of the day when yeah. there was enough of light and this is an advantage. Uh, then the last advantage which is the, is the waterproofness. It's easier and cheaper to produce fully waterproof binoculars with focusing separated for each eye uh, than when you're producing of, uh, uh, binoculars with uh, center focusing. It's much more expensive to achieve the same level of uh, waterproofness. So these are the main advantages of um, focusing separated for each eye. Okay, these are only the good things of both. What about disadvantages of are there any disadvantages at all from uh, this prism types? Yeah. From uh, center focusing or separate for each eye? If we go with the center focusing, the first thing is the waterproofness. Let's say on these binoculars, the Swarovski Habicht uh, 7x42, these are the most iconic uh, uh, binoculars, prism, uh, poor prism binoculars. As you can see, the whole eyepiece part moves when you do the focusing. 
So this is something which is almost catastrophic from the from the point of view of water tightness because now you're sucking in air and now when you're going into the other direction you're pushing air out. It out and with this you're also sucking in the moisture and pushing out the moisture so these binoculars can have a problem with uh, water tightness and of course also with uh, with internal fogging because when you get moisture inside of the binoculars when you're using them on, on a, in a cold environment internal fogging can happen so also if, if they were filled with nitrogen when you're focusing up and down with this uh, eyepiece part all the nitrogen can go out and you get moist air inside so this is this can be a problem also with more modern designs of center focusing there are still so many gaps that need to be um, need to be watertight which is really expensive to produce and really hard to produce so i would say this is the the first main disadvantage of um, of central focusing the other disadvantage is that it's really important how well the focusing is made because uh, this is something what a lot of people are uh, uh, are having problems that uh, yes. focusing is not the same on the old binoculars and they say okay i like the focusing on these binoculars but i'm always uh, hunting myself and hunting focus on, on the other yes, uh, yes. pairs of binoculars of so this is the second uh, disadvantage of, of uh, center focusing binoculars uh, on on binoculars with the uh, focusing separated for each eye you have a disadvantage of close focus it's really really hard to use these binoculars on objects which you're observing on let's say 10 meters or, or even 20 meters sometimes so close focusing is 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 a i would say a pain a lot of times and then the second thing is when you're using the binoculars with glasses with a uh, center focusing binoculars you always have uh, this type of uh, eyepieces, eye cups, eye which cup are adjustable cup. and have multiple positions. With uh, focusing separated for each eye, you usually have eye cups like this. So when you're using them with your glasses, you need to pull down this rubber, which basically means that you only have two positions, which is of course not ideally for different uh, users. And second of all, uh, when you're when you're doing this with with uh, with um, eye cups, uh, wear will definitely, uh, I would say, um, in years wear will show. There will be signs of wear on this, and you can even damage the eye cups this way. Yes, yes. So if you're using glasses, I would say center focusing is almost the only choice. Uh, if, however, you're not using glasses and your prime uh, motives uh, or the most important parameters of binoculars is the low light use and waterproofness then separated uh, focusing for each eye is the is the right solution yes i also think it's <coughs> it's much easier to just use a central focusing yeah. than separate for each eye we are more common it's it's, it's not that easier common. because when you set this you just put it on your eyes and you see the image yes. but uh, we are more used to the idea that you're focusing here. Yes. And more comfortable. Yeah, and a lot of people also claim that you get a better resolution with, with this type of focusing, even though I'm, um, I'm not so... It's not a clear cut for me. I would say it's uh, debatable. Okay, I think this is it. I think we covered most of the questions we got. If you forgot something, please use the comments or send us an email and we will uh, reply in comments or do another video. So thank you for watching for today and hope to see you on our next episode please subscribe take care